Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here. Today I am going to be filming my August TBR, which I'm really excited about because I have some good books in August, um, but I did quickly want to mention two readathons that I will be taking part in in the month of August. So the first one is going to be the Thrillerathon, which is run by Harriet from the channel Harriet Rosie, Nicole from A Beautiful Chaos of Books, and Victoria from What Victoria Read. All three channels I adore and love so much, so I definitely want to support them. And you all know I love a thriller, so honestly, I mean, why would I not take part in a readathon about thrillers? So I um, will have a separate um, TBR that will be going up nearer the time for that one. And also I'm going to be taking part in Julie from The Hungry Bookworms um, non-fiction readathon, which you all know I love non-fiction. I'm very excited to be able to read some more non-fiction. Um, it does run for two weeks, I think, from the 26th. 27th, 26th, 27th, I can't actually remember off the top of my head. Um, I will only be doing it for the first week because the second week, which will be the first week in September, is going to be mine, Clint and Emily's um, readathon. We have a readathon that we're starting, which you will start find out more about um, in a, about a couple of weeks or so. There'll be some more information for you. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to be taking part in the first week of Julie's non-fiction readathon because I can't do it as well in the second week because like I said I'm already booked in that one but yeah I'm excited to support all of those channels just be aware like I say that I will be doing those so they they will each have separate readathons coming up um separate readathon TBRs coming up so I haven't obviously mentioned them in this video today I wanted to first talk about the three buddy reads that I'm doing in the month of August I'm trying um to cut down a little bit on the buddy reads I'm doing because I was doing so many so Three is definitely my limit, um, but yeah, let me show you the first one. So the first one is actually going to be a month-long um, buddy read because it's such a big book. The book is huge. Um, but yeah, we, when I say we, uh, myself, Charlie from Charlie Brook and Emily from Novel Novels um, are all going to be reading Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. This, like I said, is a humongous book. I think it's actually... Uh, 800 pages or so and I'm really excited about it actually I don't really know anything about it I bought this Wordsworth classic which I love the Wordsworth classics I think they look, always look amazing I actually bought this because Emily and Charlie had already decided to buddy read it I've kind of crashed their party I guess um, it I don't really know anything about it it just says uh, Anna Karenina is one of the most loved and memorable heroines of literature her overwhelming charm dominates a novel of unparalleled richness and density Tolstoy considered this book to be his first real attempt at a novel form and it addresses the very nature of society at all levels, of destiny, death, human relationships and the irreconcilable contradictions of existence. It ends tragically and there is much that evokes despair, yet set beside this is an abounding joy in life's many ephemeral pleasures and a profusion of comic relief. So I'm going to expect it to be sad at the end. I don't know if that's just spoiled me or not, I don't know. Um, yeah, this is a translated fiction, so this um, was translated by Louise and Aylmer Maud in 1918. Um, like I said, I literally don't know anything else. Um, yeah, I'm excited to read this. Um, I love a classic. Um, I've really got into my classics recently when I went to see Charlie and Emily. Um, Charlie definitely inspires me to pick up classics a lot more and I picked up loads of them in that video. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get another one read. And um, yeah, I've heard really good things about Anna Karenina in general. Next up we have <clears throat> my voice is going. Next up we have a buddy read that I'm doing with Emily from Novel Novels. Um, I always do one every month with Emily and one with Charlie and this month is no exception even though we have a massive one to read um, the whole month. Um, I will be reading Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty which is Leanne Moriarty's newest release. Um, I read Big Little Lies last year and really loved it and then Emily read it um, and she also loved it so she's trying to get I think she's reading a lot more thrillers and stuff recently which is really exciting and I can't wait to um read a thriller with her this one just says one luxury retreat in the middle of nowhere 10 days in which no one can leave nine strangers seeking perfection and each discovering the perfect lie so I don't really know anything else about it but I kind of like going let me take the sticker off while I'm talking I kind of like going into thrillers um pretty blind like I don't like to know too much about what's going on that looks better there isn't a sticker um and i just think the cover of this looks really nice and leanne moriarty is always an author that i will love i'm sure so yeah very looking forward 
very looking forward very much looking forward to reading this one and like I said it's going to be my first thriller read with Emily so I think this could be really fun and then my third and final buddy read of this month is going to be again with Charlie from Charlie Brooke we will be reading Ready Player One by Ernest Cline we wanted something that was a little bit shorter um, because like I say we're reading such a big um, other buddy read together and I've heard really good things about this I think this follows a dystopian world where um, there is kind of like a quest um, within the world I think it's like virtual reality um, and they all live in like caravans so um, like stacked on top of each other because there's no space this way so they start building up and yeah I know it's got a lot of like video game references in which I don't know how much of them I'll understand because I don't I've never been really a massive video game person um, my boyfriend tried to read this and he DNF'd it because he didn't really like it that much um, or I don't think he just it didn't really get into it I don't know they didn't like it um, but yeah I'm really looking forward to this it's got apparently like I say lots of pop culture references and maybe I'll get some of them so I think this is also a movie now so this could be quite interesting to read and watch the movie afterwards but yeah looking forward to picking this one up especially reading it with Charlie so then it comes on to the you pick my TBR part of the video as you know I always have a um, unless it's like a specific readathon one but I generally always have a um, little poll going which I'll put up um, on the side here once I've mentioned all the books so I have three books that I want to talk to you about today and then you can pick which one of those you want me to read in August I've kind of tried to pick ones that um, are perhaps a little bit more unknown this time um, so yeah we'll see um, which one you decide that you want me to read so the first choice is a book that I was given by my colleague at work and she's really excited for me to read this one so potentially this could be the one I get to this is Slave Girl um, by Sarah Forsyth with Tim Tate. This is a true story, so this is non-fiction. This follows, obviously, like I said, um, Sarah Forsyth, who um, got a, she had a really horrific childhood, and she tries to kind of move on with her life by becoming, or training to be a nursery nurse. Then she takes a job at a creche in Amsterdam, um, but when she gets there, she realizes that there is no creche, and there isn't a job, and then she essentially is abducted and um, forced into prostitution, um, fed um, drugs and forced at gunpoint to do you know certain things um, and this is her sort of she's a survivor this is her story so um, yeah I really am looking forward to picking this one up eventually I may if I'm if you pick this one this month it may be one of the books that I read for the non-fiction readathon or I may read it before then again it's not a very long book either I think it's like it's 250 pages long so it's not going to take forever to read and this is definitely the type of book that I feel like I need to read some non-fiction now so this is definitely one that is definitely high on my radar. The second one I have picked um, for you to choose from is um, another one that potentially could be read in the non-fiction readathon. This is My James by Ralph Bolger with Rosie Dunn. Again, this is a true story um, written by the father of James Bolger. If you don't know, he's a very... Um, this case is very known very well known in the UK um, so basically in 1993 I believe it was three-year-old James Bolger was abducted by two 11 year olds and killed and lots of other horrible things have happened since then um, and this is basically um, James's father writing this novel um, or writing this not novel this is James's father writing his kind of story I guess and talking about James and I know that there's pictures of James in here and I just feel like this is going to be really sad but I think it's a really important story to or an important case even to um to read about and know about so yeah I've had this on my shelf for ages and I do want to finally get to it so this is another choice for you and then the final choice from this list this month is going to be um a thriller I had to put in a thriller because you never know what people want to decide to pick for me so I have picked Lisa Gardner's The Survivors Club um I kind of get some form of um like final girls vibes from this so this I will just read the back because I don't really know anything about it it says Gillian Hayes Carol Rosen and Meg Pesatoro's lives changed forever in an instant when Eddie Como the College Hill rapist came into their lives but they refused to be victims instead they chose to be survivors helping to put him away was one form of justice but they couldn't deny that secretly they wanted his life destroyed as he had destroyed theirs so when Eddie is shot down outside the courtroom on the eve of the trial, they are both relieved and revenged. But now they're also prime suspects and surviving is about to get tougher still. 
Detective Rowan Griffin thinks this was a professional hit and all that remains is to work out who ordered it. He knows that the women are key, but when another woman is savagely attacked, the situation gets a lot more complicated. For Griffin, the hunt is on to find the person responsible before membership of the exclusive club grows. But is it worth the price you pay? So this sounds really interesting again. This is a bit bigger than um, another, other thrillers that I've read recently. This one's nearly 500 pages. But I think if you decide to, this one for me, I, again, this is a book that I've had on my shelf for a long time. So yeah, this could be a fun one to read. And I know Lisa Gardner is quite um, like well known in the thriller genre. So I feel like if I like this book, then obviously I can read more of hers because I haven't actually read anything by her before. There you are. Those are the three books that I would like you to choose from. As I said, I will have put the poll up um, on the side. I want to say it's that side. Um, so um, do please go ahead and vote in that poll. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to read in the month of August. Are you doing any buddy reads? Um, yeah let me know and today I did want to do my video shout out and I would like to shout out Jean from the channel Jean's Bookish Thoughts I love Jean's channel she's very Scottish she's very wonderful and she's recently started doing not just um bookish videos but she sends some thrift store videos which I really enjoyed um she did some like um fashion type thing and I really like channels that do a little bit of everything um especially because she is just so knowledgeable she's so intelligent and she really does talk about books in a really interesting way so yeah definitely a channel that I think that you should subscribe to if you haven't already I love Jean's channel give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time for another video bye guys mm -hmm.